There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, divas and divos? It's your April, so I'm gonna just be really frank with y'all, real quick, really honest. Like seriously, really frank with you guys, really honest. Um, this is the second time that I recorded this video. So, like the first portion of this video, um, I deleted it because I had on my cute little wrap on my head. I was feeling myself. I didn't, not this stupid wig grip thing, you know. I, I mean, I did have the wig grip one. But you know how I come on my little red, my little wrap, head wrap and stuff. It was looking real cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, let me tell y'all something as I situate myself here. So I was talking to you guys and talking about the wig and talking about my day and just running off at the mouth. And, like, when I was about to start styling the wig, because, you know, I had already took the wig scarf off, or the scarf off my head, did I look on the side of the camera and realized, <laughs> just realized that the microphone wasn't turned on. I was, I don't know what is going on with me lately, but this is not the first time that I've done that in the past week. So I'm really pissed off, okay? So anyway, we're just going to avoid all of that. Pretend like I had on my little head wrap and it was looking real cute and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because it really was. Um, but, oh God, you know how sometimes you get something just right? It's like perfect. That's how I felt about the head wrap, okay? But anyway, so other than that, that that's just how I feel, okay? And I know this is not even video hair related, but let me tell you, y'all know how these beauty gurus, they be like, oh, girl, you gotta get that translucent powder. Oh, my God. That's how you end up buying a whole bunch of stuff that you really don't need. Like, I love makeup. I'm like a makeup fanatic. I'm not going out to buy everything that some beauty guru on YouTube or anywhere else around the world tells me to buy because that's just me. But I have done it. I'm not, I said I'm not buying everything. So I bought a bunch of setting powders. They're like, oh, it's the best. It's fun. It's this. It's that. You know, you go off of it like, okay, all right. And then when you get the product, you like, girl, please. Be ready to take it back. Well, this one I got for free. And I, I used this already in a video the other day for you guys. Um, it was my real talk. But I just had to say this because I have it on my face again. And I love it. I got it for free because I have, um, there's this site called Oxley. You can get free products if you do, like, reviews or, like, social media or whatever. So I don't really mess with Lancome, the Lancome brand makeup, because I just be feeling like it's, like, some elderly. It's, like, more or less elderly people use it. Honey, child, please, don't even sleep on this stuff. So it was like, oh, translucent, silky loose powder. And I was like, okay, let's just give this a try. It's free. I really doubt that it's going to work like that. It's probably going to give me some flashback and all of that stuff. Like, you know, I'm not about to bake, as you guys would say, my face with it because I'm not a turkey. I got enough baking going on out here from this Arizona heat. I don't be want my face to look like it's cake face. I just really want to look pretty. I'm not trying to do all that and have a whole bunch of makeup sitting on my face. Especially under my eyes because it gets really dried up under here. And it tries to make it start looking dry. And I really don't want to do that. So, anyway, I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. Woo, woo, woo. You know, got the color number 300. Let me tell you, I had did this and put it on my face for the first time in my Real Talk video. It was really, like, silky. It really is good. Like, I didn't put it on my under eye. I put it on my entire face. Honey child, let me tell you. It was so nice and silky to the touch still. And normally I use my Milani. Honey child, this Lancome stuff is the business. I'm not trying to bake with it. I just want to set my makeup. That's it. And keep it pushing. I don't be wanting to do all of that extra, all that extra hard contouring and stuff. It's just the time and the place for all of that. But I just had to share that with you guys. So don't think that I'm one of those beauty gurus that go out there and just don't go buying a whole bunch of stuff because I said to. I just wanted to tell you guys how I felt about the product. I have worked with this company three times already. And, you know, they are cool people. If I work with you more than once, that means I like you. If I don't, that's not meaning that I don't like you. But, you know, it is what it is. If I feel you, I feel you. That's just in general in life. 
So their hair company is called Sunlight Hair. You know, it's an international overseas hair company. They got some really affordable hair. I mean, I have bleached their hair before and I have dyed it. You know what I'm saying? And it stayed living. It still was alive, meaning it wasn't overprocessed. It wasn't dead. It wasn't fried. It still was alive. I'm, I'm feeling that. Like, if you still alive, then you good. Now, this time around, they sent me, and look, I'm about to sit back and relax. They sent me their water wave hair. Cause that's what I asked for. I asked for four bundles, um, two twenty twos, two twenty twos, a twenty and eighteen inch, and a three sixty frontal. Now y'all know how I felt about them three sixty frontals when I first got one. The first one I made was like poop. I was just like, that's when I went on a rampage and was like, ah, oh, I don't like them. Everybody's raving about them. That's because you need to know how to work them. You need to really know how to make them. It's like a secret cult for wig making. You know what I'm saying? So you have to you have to like basically be part of that cult to you know. And so they sent me a 360. Now, first of all, you know how I'd be like, oh, I love when somebody send me something that I don't gotta really do much to. That's how I'd be feeling. So 360 that they sent me, I really had I didn't have to do something, but I did have to do something. Um, it just comes with the adjustable straps. It doesn't have any combs. And I was like, I don't have any combs. And I'm not about to sell no combs in it, so I'm gonna just sell some elastic like I did. Now, if it shed, yes, it did shed. I ain't about to sit here and lean back in my little chair and lie to y'all say it didn't. Yes, honey child, it shed. But here's the kicker. The hairline is pre-tweezed, which is cool. I love it. I love it a lot. But, okay, so I just now had noticed this. Like, after I had washed it and stuff, after I styled it up, or, you know, made it and washed it, I hung it upside down like this to dry because, you know, you get all the waste up in this bad boy. Can you please tell me right now, please, just tell me right now, when I looked at it, why is it loose wave here and body wave? Like, so you sent me a loose wave 360 and a body wave bundles. Like, so I got a loose wave frontal and some body wave bundles. A loose wave frontal and some body wave bundles. Now, had I known that, I would have at least curled the bundles, but I, you know, it's hanging up like this, so I don't really see it. I'm going to do the video still. I'm not about to go in the bathroom and, re and curl this because I'm not. I'm not going to do that. It is what it is, and I'm, at least I'm being honest, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, other than that, Sunlight Hair has some really good hair. They have some good quality. They, To me, I think they really made a mistake and sent me different types of hair. Like, you guys can tell. Like, come on, man. Ray Charles could see through that. Or... Or maybe not Ray Charles because that was dead wrong, but more or less like um, Steve Wonder or something. I didn't use the four bundles. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do this because I had tried to do this already and realized that the sound was off. And what kind of video would that be without me running my mouth and you could hear it? tell y'all this I'm not really huge fan of two different textures um however here's the one thing it's not like a really bad um noticeable thing because the texture is still silky straight it's just that one is loose wave and one is body wave and I really honestly feel like they kind of like mixed up the bundles and the, the frontal because that could be the only thing that I could think of you know what I'm saying because you can see that it's very straight. Not very straight, but you know what I'm saying? It ain't like this. So, the only thing that you can do for this particular issue is curl it. A lot of people probably don't wear it loose wavy anyway. But, let me tell y'all. I'm pretty sure you guys hear the noise. It's hot. And the hair is making me kind of hot. You know what I'm saying? It's 
like you ever have something where it just kind of like takes your feng shui and your vibe so it's not that the hair is taking my feng shui and vibe but it was kind of like oh man i really wanted it all to be loose wave and it's not so that's what's kind of like took my vibe down a little bit a few notches but other than that the hair quality is still there and it's still great so if i was to wear this like this i would definitely have to curl it which is cool because a lot of people do that now as for the hairline it's really great um as you can see i just messed with it a little bit i love using like this I love Aussie and I just use some cream of nature styling mousse that's what I like to use I really prefer like the Gorilla Snot Gel because it does give like a really good firm hold so if you want your lace wig to be firmly held down then definitely try the Gorilla Snot Gel there's three there's three kinds there's the red one there's the yellow one that I've always been using and then there's the one that's purple the purple one the, the color of the gel is blue but it smells exactly like toothpaste so I mean like if you're into that and you want your hair to smell minty then by all means but I think I really prefer the yellow color more. Um, well, the yellow bottom more. So, as for the hair texture, the hair texture is great. It did chill a little bit. But it is long. It is dumb long, but it's hot. So, like, I'm really, really hot right now because uh, it's just hot, all right? So, yes, definitely check out Sunlight Hair. Um, congratulations, Cynthia, who is going on maternity leave, who works with them. I've worked with her many times before, so she's about to have her baby. Not really sure if it's her first or not, but congratulations to her. You know, it's always great when you know someone that you, you just are used to or accustomed to. So, I just wanted to tell her congratulations on her upcoming bundle of joy, because we know that kids are a big bundle of joy. Hmm. So on that note, I will place all the info for sunlight hair for you girls below. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I love you. Thumbs this video up because you love me. And I'll see you in the next one.